Hi everyone, welcome. Haley here, marketing strategist at Biteable. Let's talk about sales videos. When you're in the sales business, you have to think like a gymnast. You have to be really flexible and every so often take a leap of faith. The leotard is optional. In the last few years, video for sales has emerged as a front runner and people who have jumped on the video train are seeing results. According to WordStream, people who use video grow their revenue 49% faster than people who don't. With this in mind, today I'm using the Biteable Video Editor to show you how sales videos can work for you. Video is useful for sales because there are so many applications. Email marketing, embedded on your website, on your social, through stories or posts. Video can plug in literally anywhere. Before we edit our own sales video, let's touch on some basic tips. First up, don't wing it. Plan a structure for your video. A simple way to do this is to lead with a summary of the key information. And then, if you have time, go back and expand on those points. This means if your audience only watches the first 10 seconds, they still get the key points. Secondly, think about your audience and what they would respond to. Sometimes it's tempting to make a sales video that we would like, but that might not be so effective with our audience. Maybe you think an animated style is neat, but your audience would connect better with live action footage. Lastly, platform is everything for video. Which platforms are you sending it out on? What are the restrictions? Choose your format and platform ahead of time and make sure your video conforms to the conventions of that platform, like size, orientations, and restrictions on text or adding links. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get down to business. We're going to be editing a sales video together with the help of the Biteable Video Editor. So here we are on the Biteable homepage. We're going to start off by logging into our Biteable account and then we'll search all of the templates for sales. This will bring up any sales related templates. And then to preview any of those templates, just hold your mouse over the thumbnail and click edit video once you're ready. Now this video does have videos of a talking head with audio uploaded. So just a reminder that if you are uploading videos and you wanna keep that original audio, you will need to be on an ultimate or teams plan. So to start off, I'm going to remove the videos of Jonah here, and I'm going to replace them with videos of myself that I've already recorded. So we'll just go ahead and click delete scene on all of these videos and then jump on over to add scene and then head to upload. And this is where I'll upload the videos of myself, which I already have uploaded in the background here. So I'm going to just click on each of those videos to add them to my timeline down below. So you can see as I click each video, they are populated into my timeline at the bottom in the order that I click on them. So I'm clicking on them in the order that I'd like them to be added into my video just to make things easier for me once I start to edit. So we've got all six clips in there now, so I'll go ahead and click anywhere in the timeline to begin editing my video. So I'm gonna start right at the beginning here. And in this video, I'm actually going to be selling Biteable to someone named Christine who works in an HR department so I'll go ahead and add in my text, make it stretch and fit a bit better on my screen. And then I'm just going to customize the text in this template to suit the product that I'm selling, which in this case is Biteable, the world's simplest video maker. And I'll jump on over into the next scene and add just one more scene of intro text, just explaining a bit about how Biteable can help Christine. So now we're gonna jump into the uploads with audio and what I'm going to do here is just click in each scene and play the video so I'll be able to hear myself talking. And then any points that I really want to drive home, I will add into the beginning scenes. So the first scene, I'm just going to leave it with my face, no text, but I'm going to turn my volume on my video all the way up and I'm going to remove the fade in and fade out feature. That way you can really hear me throughout the entire video. I'm gonna do the same thing on this next scene, just play the clip of me talking. And then any points that I'd like to reiterate, I'm going to add in the text box here and just have that text box appear about halfway through my scene. It just adds a little nice extra layer to the video. So we'll go ahead and reposition that text box where we'd like it on our scene. And then I'm going to shrink that text box down so it only lasts for about half of our video scene. And again, I'm going to turn off the fade in and fade out feature and increase my volume to 100%. I'm also going to add a nice transition in between those video clips so it appears less choppy. 
and I'm going to repeat these steps for each scene of me speaking. So I'm going to listen to the scene, add in any relevant text that I'd like to have on screen, and then turn the volume up and remove the fade in and fade out. So we'll go ahead and add in our text for this scene. And to reposition those text bars, I'm just using the left and right side of the text box in the timeline to change the duration and change where it appears on the scene. And we're getting to the end of our videos here, so I'm just going to make sure I've got my scene transitions added in for each video. So on this final scene of me talking, we're going to get a little bit fancier here with the way our whole scene looks. So I'm just going to write a quick thank you and we'll shrink that down. And now I'll show you how you can resize the video um, in the background. So we're going to start by turning off the fade in and fade out as we've done with the other scenes. And then I'm going to shrink the placement down to 75%. You can see that adds a little background border. So I'm going to jump to the next scene and copy the background color and I'm going to paste that into my scene here. So we'll jump to the background color, paste that hex code in, and you can see now I've got a nice background on my scene. Then I'm going to reposition this text close to the top of my screen, and I'm actually going to add a nice orange ribbon, so I'm going to jump a few scenes ahead and copy that orange background color. And then I'm going to head back to my scene and paste in that ribbon color. And I wanna make sure I have that hashtag added into the front of the hex code so it works. And now you can see that really kind of ties the whole video together, adds a little bit of extra excitement, and it's a nice way to end off your videos of you talking. So then I'm just going to add a few scenes here before my call to action, just kind of summarizing what I talked about in my video for Christine. And to remove any of those text boxes, it's as simple as clicking the trash can. And then you can reposition any of the elements in your scene as well. So now I'm just going to highlight a few of the features of Biteable. So we create educational videos. Now I'll write about our Biteable analytics. And here I'll just mention that our videos for gr are great for explaining corporate policies. And now we're heading into our very last slide here. This is where I'll leave my call to action, which I mentioned would be a Calendly link to book a demo with me. And now our video is finished. So I'm going to head on over to our export tab. And once I click build video, my video will start to render. And this is where I'll have the ability to add a clickable call to action. So here I can add in my message and then I can add a direct clickable button for Christine to book a time with me on my Calendly link. And again, this feature is only available to those folks on an Ultimate or Teams Biteable plan. Once my video is done rendering, I'll be able to download it, or if I share it with a link, then I can have that clickable call to action and our Biteable analytics. Hey Christine, Haley here from the sales team at Biteable. Let's get straight to the point. We love the HR work that you've been doing over at Culture Class, and we here at Biteable think we could really help you achieve your mission and help your employees become more engaged in the office. So how can we help you do this? Biteable creates thousands of templates that are easily customizable that will help put your message in motion. You can turn a simple email or a Zoom recording into a fun, engaging, quick video in a matter of minutes. Plus, with Biteable Analytics, you'll be able to see how many people have watched your video and how many people have completed the entire video. We have thousands of color editable animations and offer you access to millions of pieces of stock footage. You can upload your own content too. I'd love to book a demo and show you how easy it is to make a video with Biteable. If you're interested, book a time slot at the Calendly link at the end of this video. Thanks for your time. I hope I get to chat with you soon.
using video for sales is the way of the future. Thankfully for all sales managers out there, it's really easy to do it yourself as we've seen today. The Biteable Editor was designed to find a solution to fit any sales strategy. So have a play around with the templates and see what you can achieve. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.